Sometimes you just don't know when you've lost the Lord. We dealt with ours the last time with the idea sometimes you just don't know when the Lord leaves you. Um, and so we're, we're not going to go back all, all through, in other words, what it is we did there. Um, so if you would, would appreciate you taking a look. Luke chapter 2, verse 41 through 45 says, Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the Feast of the Passover. And when, they was, when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. There it is again. Again, the idea about a, 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 an ignorance, if you will, about the idea. Immediately, they're beginning to start to separate themselves away from the Lord. Okay? Now, we'll, we'll get to that in just, a, in just a minute, just a little bit, a little bit more explanation. It says, but they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they saw him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance, and when they found him not, there it is, all of a sudden they found the idea that the, words of the Lord Jesus Christ was not in the midst of them, not in their, in their presence, not in their possession, if you will. The Bible says they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Let's just ask God to bless. Father, we come to you now, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus once again. Asking you, Father, right now just to touch the hearts, lives, and minds of these it is. And Lord, that have gathered themselves here tonight. And Lord, I pray that you'd speak to their hearts. Show them those things it is, Lord, that are necessary, needful and necessary. I pray, Father, right now, if there's somebody right now that is, if you will, uh, a, a guilty distance, if you will, away from the Lord Jesus Christ. That you'd speak to their hearts. And Lord, whenever we close this service out, Lord, they'd come to an old-fashioned altar, seeking Him once again, Lord, with a close relationship like they've had before. Love you today. Thank you. Praise you. Ask all in the precious name of Jesus and for a sacred prayer today. And all of God's people said, Amen, Amen and Amen. We've already went through the idea about the devotion before they lost the Lord. Make no mistake about the idea that the Lord Joseph and Mary was one devoted couple, in other words, to the Lord Jesus, to the Lord. No getting around that. Uh, that's why the Lord chose them to begin with. The Lord God Almighty chose them to carry the Christ child and to, for, for Mary and to raise the words, this, this child up. There's no getting around that. Now they want to go into a long, drawn-out process of the Lord's going way back into their, uh, to their lives. In other words, in Matthew chapter 1 and also Luke chapter 1 also. Didn't want to go back that far. I thought the words just chapter 2 ought to be able to nail this thing down to the idea that was a definite, clear-cut, beyond a shadow of a doubt devotion. In other words, the idea of about the words, the idea, but they still ended up losing the Lord. So make no mistake, just because it is you're devoted, and you should be, don't make, don't misunderstand me. That that that's that, that doesn't cause you to be bulletproof somewhere along the line whenever you drop, if you will, the words, your guard. And that's what exactly what the words ends up happening here. First of all, the devotion of this couple is seen in the idea they uh, they they uh, they circumcised the, the, the child, the Christ child, in other words, eight days afterwards. The idea that her day the day her days of purification, according to the law of Moses, they accomplished that there at Jerusalem, and they were going to present him to the Lord. Somebody ought to say Amen. amen. That's the idea. They're dedicate. They're openly, in other words, dedicating the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the idea that and after they had performed all things, notice that according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. Then this is now his parents went to Jerusalem every year the feast of the Passover. This is the idea, and I've made this statement. This is 12 solid years, if you will, of faithfully in other words, serving the Lord, start to finish in no uncertain terms. Right. You say, well, why in the world, in other words, are you going through, in other words, all this uh, uh, showing, in other words, their devotion or what have you? Simply the reason why it is that I'm doing this is just the idea to let you know, my friend, how important it is to, in other words, to do this. That's the idea. That's how you keep the Lord close to you in a devotion, in other yeah. words, to the Lord. Then the idea of the devotion to the child. And, and I'm going to bring out something in just a, a moment, if you will. And I need you to don't let me forget when I get to uh, the idea about numbers naming the brothers and sisters. Don't let me forget that also. And matter of fact, I, uh, I'll, I'll get to it a little bit later on. The devotion of the child seen, first of all, his physical development. Hey, they took care of the Lord Jesus Christ. How many of you know you ought to take care of your children? Yeah. Physically, if you know that, say yeah. amen. Meet the needs, not the greeds. Yeah. I said meet their needs, yeah. not their greeds. Yeah. That means simply the idea, don't give them what it is that they want. Give them what they need. 
And I guarantee you, there's where it is immediately. You'll help this situation uh, and no, no, no getting around that. Then the spiritual development, which is the most important as far as that goes, is the idea that this child grew and waxed strong in spirit and the grace of God was upon him. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for the idea that there's a strong spiritual nature about the words your children. How many of you knows we need to train up a child in the way he should go? Yes. When he's old, he'll not depart. That's, right. That's the key to the idea. And, gra and grace was upon him. Grace is needed, my friend. Simply, in other words, to the idea about the strengthening of this situation. Yes. So, in other words, it is that they can live right. It says, and when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Now they're beginning to start to bring him, if you will, at the age of 12. The idea, in other words, to start to be able to become active, in other words, in this spiritual uh, development, in other words, as far. And, and, and that, that's important. There's no getting around that. But I guarantee you, it wasn't the idea, that, in other words, that they hadn't done this before. 12 years of faithfully, the idea about going to church every single week. Bible says, and when they came to Nazareth, he's 30 years old now, here in this passage of Scripture, he's, he's 12 here, he's 30 some odd years old here, he said when he'd been brought up, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. How many here knows the idea? <laughs> but the, the idea about the words, the devotion of this child was clear cut beyond a shadow of a doubt. If you know that, say amen. Then the idea about the mental development is that he was filled with wisdom. The reason, my friend, he was filled with wisdom, I guarantee you, instead of watching stinking television all day, at least four to six hours as far as that goes, they sat there and they saturated themselves with the word of Almighty God. And here's where it is, my friend. We, I guarantee you, the, the, the spiritual ignorance, in other words, of Christians today, especially in America, is one of the most, uh, uh, the most uh, uh, not surprising by no stretch, of the, one of the most um, uh, bothersome things it is that I think, in other words, could ever be imagined. Yeah. We're supposed to be somehow or another, and with all of the advancements, do you realize we've got some of the finest study Bibles that have ever been Man. made or, or manufactured? Yeah. We, in other words, now have, in other words, simple. Listen to me now. We have simple, if you will, the idea of search search uh, 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 engines and what have you. We can find anything we want to in the idea of the Bible in a heartbeat. You do realize all I've got to do, my friend, to find any verse it is that I want to is click my phone right now and say, okay, Google. And immediately when I say, okay, Google, it'll go blink. And when it does that, I sit there and say, find the verse that says thus, such, and so, and so. The next thing you know, in a matter of, listen to me now, seconds, it finds it for me. I got a question. I got a question to ask you. Why in the world, why in the world aren't we better off spiritually when we've got such advancements? Why, why aren't we better off? Lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ain't going to do a thing in the world with it. We'd, well, we'd rather watch the verse, some, uh, some uh, ungodly nonsense on television as far as that goes instead of finding out what God's got to say about this, that, and what have you along that line. The Bible says that he was filled with wisdom. And you do realize, my friend, there's where it is. They sit there and, and a lot of times, my, folks, that they, they didn't have individual Bibles. You realize, my friend, but every time they got close to one, I guarantee you, they saturated their hearts, their minds, and their minds with that thing in no uncertain terms. It was constantly talked about, constantly gone over. That's why, and the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, if you will, verses 4 and on down, it makes a statement that there's there's where it is, the parents, that you listen to me now, it's back to you parents. You're supposed to, in other words, talk with them while you, uh, while you walk by the way, while you sit down, rise up, before you go to bed, when you get up. My friend, how many of you knows that's a lot of time? Mm -hmm. Spent the idea, my friend, training, if you will. In other words, young Jewish individuals, my friend. This is in the Old Testament. Yeah. This is exactly. Yeah. How much more so, my friend, today? When we've got, in other words, some of the finest advancements that can ever be imagined. Goodness gracious alive. You do realize at one time, uh, a Strong's Concordance, my friend, is a book a whole lot thicker than this thing ever thought about being. It's somewhat bigger. It's actually thicker as far as that goes. It's got every word in the Bible that was listed in order. Hey, how many here knows I've actually got a, a better one, in other words, on my phone? Then actually I don't have to look at every word. I can just punch in part of the word and it'll find it in the words everywhere it's found in the in the King James Bible as far as that goes. Everywhere in all of its plurals and its uh, different renderings as far as how many of you know, isn't that wonderful and great? And I got that right at my fingertips. 
Yet though, my friend, they had nothing in the words along those lines, but it says here, he was filled with wisdom. My question, in other words, to you is, are your children filled, in other words, with the wisdom of God? If they're not, you do realize, my friend, what a scathing rebuke it is to have, in other words, no, no advancements like this, no technology advancements. None whatsoever, yet though they can be clearly be said to the idea they're filled with wisdom. Mm -hmm. How about the idea that their, their ability development, they're filled with wisdom. Now, I just need to talk the idea about, all, all it meant was is the idea that, that, that uh, immediately uh, the Lord Jesus Christ knew a trade. You realize, my friend, you're raising a thief. If you don't teach your kid, in other words, how to do something, in other words, that can support them. Yeah, there you go. That's part of the problem, is that, that, that dead silence. Yeah. Is the idea that we think, in other words, I, I don't want my kids to know, uh, have to go through the heartaches and the heartbreaks I did of work. Are you kidding me? You realize, in other words, here's where it makes the statement, the idea, that, is this not the carpenter's son? This is talking about, in other words, uh, the people in, uh, in Nazareth. Talking about the words that when they heard the Lord Jesus Christ preach and teach what they had, they said, Is this not the carpenter's son? Talk about Joseph. And is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? But notice, if you will, the next time it is that he's referenced. The next time he's referenced, he's not the carpenter's son, but he's, is this not the carpenter? You realize, my friend, they taught them exactly some kind of a trade. So it is, my friend, they wouldn't be some kind of a freeloading, in other words, individual. He said, the son of Mary. See, there's where it is. It's mentioned the carpenter's son. Now, is this not the carpenter? He said, brother of James, Joseph, Judah, Simon, were not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Now, notice if you will, because let's, let's, I'll use this a little bit later on. So how many brothers did he have? One, two, three, four brothers, and at least two sisters. At least two sisters. Don't ever forget that. I'll bring that point out a little bit later on. Okay? You all remember that? If you will, say amen. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't want to have to find it again. Okay? <laughs> how about then the departure and the losing of the Lord? First of all, the instance. It said when they had fulfilled, in other words, the days. <laughs> I, I really, I kind of find it interesting. I most assuredly do that... Seemingly every time, in other words, the Lord Jesus Christ took his inner circle, Peter, James, and John, uh, every time they did that, it seemed like, in other words, it is that they, 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 they were blessed, if you will, with a spiritual, uh, uh, a spiritual um, blessing, but then turned around, if you will, my friend, and, and ruined it somehow or another. We talked about the Mount of Transfiguration, didn't we? Peter, James, and John went on the Mount of Transfiguration. They saw Moses, Elijah. They saw the Lord Jesus Christ change and transform, if you will, in words, into his glory. You remember that? And there's where it is immediately that, uh, that, that Peter come up with the idea, let's make three tabernacles. No, you don't need three tabernacles. You don't need to be talking about Moses no more. You don't need to talk about Elijah no more or the prophets. You need to be talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to build anything, build it for the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody ought to say amen. Then the idea that then all of a sudden then they went into the, into, uh, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. And there's where it is he could Peter, James, and John. And in other words, there's where it is that he prayed. In other words, in his passion. Y'all remember that? If you do say amen. amen. What did they do? They fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Anybody getting this thing? Sometimes, my friend, on a spiritual height, a spiritual mountaintop, there's where it is, my friend, ruin is right on the other side of seemingly revival. Why? Just get what they get tired, they get wore out. It says after they had fulfilled the days. I believe seriously that you listen to me very carefully. You listen to me now. Now it's fixed to get hot, hot and heavy. I personally believe it is after the days, in other words, the feast days, after the Passover, whenever it was over there, they were done, they were out of there. Reminds me sometimes, in other words, after services and what have you. People, in other words, uh, it's dangerous to be it's dangerous to be in that door over there. Because people are running you over and trying to get out of here. What's, what's interesting to me is uh, they want to have fellowship, uh, want to have fellowship right here in the aisles where we're all trying to get out of here and what have you. 
I, I tell people when I walk by, people that I love and know, uh, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> what is it I say? Yeah, if you're not, if you're not going to help, at least get out of the way. Yeah. That's what I do. I think. But you realize the idea of some, uh, a fellowship would be a good thing. Or now some people do, don't misunderstand. Some people might friend break their neck getting out of here. I, 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 I'm wondering, Lord, why is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, bring, bring me some jerky. Just don't be eating it first while I'm while I'm uh, while I'm preaching. Yeah. Uh, right now, I got people that are just chewing gum with that. It looks like I'm preaching to a bunch of cows <laughs> <coughs> chewing chewing their cud. Going, yeah, just kidding. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. <laughs> he said, when they had fulfilled the days, they are out of there. This is part of the problem. It really is. You say, well, why is that? Well, the ignorance, if you will, it says, and as they returned, it says, as they returned, in other words, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. I thought about that today as I was praying and studying. If you're not careful, you're going to actually think, in other words, the idea that the Lord actually did something wrong here. I don't believe so for a second, because my Savior is sinless. Could it be the idea, listen to me very carefully, listen to me now. Could it be the idea when they woke up, in other words, the morning of the next day, when all of a sudden Joseph and Mary were scrambling around quickly trying to get out of there and get on down the road and get home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could it be the idea that the Lord Jesus Christ made the statement, I feel like the idea that, in other words, maybe our business here is not done. And then there's where it is, apparently, Mary and Joseph thought the idea, yeah, it is. It is done. We've been here long enough. Mm -hmm. Go back to my, our devotion. Go back to the idea that, in other words, and by the way, I don't know about you, but I find camp is a classic example. You realize that one time they used to do week-long revivals. Nobody does week-long revivals no more. What we do is we have a camp of where it is the idea. That's what takes the place of a week-long revival. It's actually better than any revival I can ever imagine. We're in the best place that could be imagined. Come on. Mm -hmm. We've got some of the best men of God in our denomination okay. preaching to us on a regular basis. Somebody ought to say amen. And there's where it is immediately, my friend, that they're feeding you all you can eat. In other words, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Come on. Come on. Okay. You do realize, my friend, it's in one of the best places that could ever be imagined. Come on. I'm hearing the idea, but and you do realize we ought to break our neck trying to get there. We ought to do everything it is we can, my friend, to sit there. But some people think that that's a little just a little bit too long. They say, you know, uh, you know, uh, Brother Danny, uh, um, if you just preached shorter, not so long. You know, I don't know about you, but the idea about about getting together listening to God's word, that's not going to hurt anybody. It never has and it never will. You do realize, in other words, I pretty well make our music about 30 minutes long, period, along with the announcements and anything else it is we might take care of. But you know what they, the Bible says, and as they return, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. There's a reason for that, and we're going to find out. It says, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. Now, can I talk to you all just for a minute and listen to me? Remember when I talked to how many brothers were there? Four. Four brothers and how many sisters? Two. At least two. At least two. It's, it's plural sisters. So let's say, in other words, the idea, and I have no idea. The Lord Jesus, of course, was the oldest. Mm -hmm. He's 12 years old at this time right here. Yeah. I have no idea how many, in other words, children it is they had. But you realize the idea sometimes... And listen to me very carefully. It's the idea when mom and dad get to the point where it is, you know, we got some things to do. You want to know one of the reasons why people stop one of Sunday night services? It's because it's the idea, in other words, it's a waste of time for one thing. The other thing of it is the idea, we need to get ready for Monday. We need to get ready for Monday. What's Monday? Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's a work day that nobody likes for one thing. And then it's also a school day, my friend, that I guarantee you that I get, it's more important, my friend, getting something from the Word of God okay. than it is, my friend, from this secular situation. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around that. 
And I think it's that's important, in other words, for us to grab a hold of it really is. And by the way, I'm going to tell you something right now. And also, you do realize at one time, the world wouldn't dare have had a baseball game, a soccer game, or anything else on that line on a Wednesday, and anything else on that line. Now they stood, Steve, you couldn't care less. Right. Right. And then the idea about, in other words, getting, uh, folks, uh, think what you want, believe what you want. We got the idea about the words now. We got to get gone here. We uh, the, the, this this is this is this is enough. This is fulfilled. I fulfilled the words exactly what it is that I'm supposed to. I'm out of here. Could that be a part of this thing? Well, I really think it is. Because somewhere along the line, when they had fulfilled them days, they're out of there. And there's where it is that as they return, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. Hey, how many here know somewhere along the line, you'd think somebody would sit there and say, as they got a little ways out of town, in other words, in that, in that, uh, uh, that caravan and what have you, that they'd have looked around and sit there and says, Where's the Lord Jesus Christ at? Mm -hmm. mm -mm, not so. They didn't realize, my friend, that he was missing until it's about time to go to bed. For them, in other words, to camp out, in other words, a day's journey out, we're going to find out. It says, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. I personally believe that they sat there, my friend, were going through, in other words, their travels, they had their minds on other things. They had their minds on the idea of when they get back home. They had their minds on what they were going to do, in other words, next. They had their mind on the idea about, in other words, what needed to happen. They had their minds possibly maybe on some other kids, if you will, if that's the way, the way it was. I don't know. I have no idea. It really doesn't make I'm just throwing that out there. You realize he had other brothers and sisters. Y'all yeah. getting this thing? And my question to you is, is the idea... In the middle of us lovers and the cares of this stinking life, my friend, we're losing the Lord Jesus Christ and don't even know it. Isn't that what it says? Mm -hmm. See, somebody made the statement, why don't you make a list of what's worldly? Well, I could make a list of what's worldly real, real easy. But sometimes, my friend, sometimes things it is that are needful and necessary get to the point, my friend, that they carry too much weight in our life. And that becomes worldly, even with the idea about some of the of the natural, normal cares of this life. It just simply just, in other words, begins to start to choke us out and to choke us down. That's right. This is the ignorance in the in the in the departing. The investigation, the investigating in other words after this departure. First of all, they're supposing in the investigation, but they suppose him to have been in the company and went a day's journey. What they're doing is, is all these people are, are kind of going down the line there. Uh, they're leaving out of town and they're heading towards Nazareth, if you will. And all of a sudden they're looking around thinking, well, I don't see the Lord Jesus Christ around here any place. Well, he's got to be here. He's got to be in this company. There's just no getting around that. I, I suppose that. There's just no way in the world that he wouldn't be in this crowd that we have right here. The Lord's got to be here. Goodness gracious, some of you have been devoted, in other words, to the Lord for how many years? See, you've got to suppose, in other words, somewhere along the line, in a group, in other words, this size, there's where it is, a million, my friend. The Lord's got to be in here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, does he? I don't know about you, but this morning I had a hard time kind of sensing the Lord's presence this morning. Whenever it is that I was teaching, and yea, if you will, even when I was preaching. Now, the altar call over has turned it out a little bit better than what it is that I thought it would. Honestly, it really did. But nonetheless, though, uh, to me, immediately, I, I got to thinking the idea, is this the Lord just kind of showing the idea since I'm preaching on this? That, in other words, there's a little bit of an absence of, of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you will, supposing that you thought, in other words, that he had to be in this company. By the way, isn't this the Wasco Free Will Baptist Church? You know, that fundamentalist conservative church as far as that goes. Where everybody lives right. Everybody does right. Everybody's got the right Bible. Or at least you should. If you don't, we can get you one. Come on. Yeah. See, this is the supposing, if you will, to him to have been in the company. They went a day's journey. They're a, they're a, they're a day's journey, if you will, outside, in other words, Jerusalem. Headed towards Nazareth. Then all of a sudden, the seeking in the investigation, all of a sudden, they couldn't see him generally, if you will, in the idea of the company, if you will, generally. But then all of a sudden, they saw him among their kinfolk and acquaintance. 
They thought, well, you know, if they're not with some of these people that, you know, may not be that, that religious or may not be that Christian or may not be that saved or may not be that whatever along that line, of course they got to be with our family. Do you, do you realize how many times I've, I've knocked doors and I've asked people, I said, hi, how you doing? I'm Danny Scott. I'm from the Free Will Baptist Church here in Wasco. We're just out meeting some of the families in the community, trying to find out who's Christian and who's not. Are you a Christian, sir or ma'am? Most of the time it's a guy. A sir, he said, <laughs> <laughs> so I love it when they go <laughs> like that. Immediately I know what's coming. <laughs> Do you realize my uncle is a deacon in the Baptist church? Is that right? Well, isn't that wonderful? I want to think to myself the idea, of course I'm loving when I'm outdoor and what have, is the idea of the words, you know, what does that got to do with you? I think I've actually said that before too. <laughs> but what does that got to do with you? Don't you realize that, in other words, my granddad used to be a preacher? Don't you realize, in other words, my mom taught Sunday school for 20-some-odd years? I'm thinking, what is that? that? You know what that reminds me of? Reminds me of Joseph and Mary, in other words, trying to find the Lord Jesus Christ among their kinfolk and their acquaintance. You realize, my friend, just because your mom saved, your dad saved, your brother, your sister saved, got nothing to do with you. The question is the idea, are you saved? Do you have the Lord Jesus Christ? That's the key to what it is we're talking about. Somebody, somebody needs to grab a hold of this thought. They're seeking, in other words, in this investigation of the idea amongst their kid folks, the idea it's got, you know, the, the family's got to have it going on. You wouldn't believe, you, you'd be amazed at how many kids, my friend, I would imagine, is the idea since mom and dad, in other words, do something in this church that they got, in other words, they, they got it all going on as far as that goes. How many of you knows that doesn't mean a thing? It never has and it never will. But they're riding on the shirt tail and the skirt tail. Just made that up right there. The shirt tail and the skirt tail, my friend, of their parents and what have you along that line. And since, in other words, it is that they're doing something for God, they kind of sit back, in other words, and do nothing and still, in other words, pretty well be uh, accepted as far as that goes. And then there's the idea of their acquaintance, the idea, by the words, of friends and family as far as that goes. What we're dealing with here, the idea that he's got, the Lord Jesus Christ has got to be among them. If he's among them and I'm among them, then, he, then he's among us. It's not true. Then all of a sudden the seriousness in this investigation, when they found him not. And by the way, you realize we've already went over our main major theme, which is the idea that sometimes you just don't know. We've got to ask ourselves the question, how in the world can you sit there? And by the way, you realize, now I'm not going to have you raise your hand, but probably some of you have left your kids someplace. I, I think over the years, uh, I've preached on this and talked about this, and I've actually had people, uh, you know, actually you've left your kids someplace. I've heard about people leaving kids at, their, at the church. That really makes my point in a minute, but I just, that's the idea of, uh, <laughs> just thought I'd throw that out there, take it easy. I'm not pointing you out. It says, and when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, what's it say? Seeking. Seeking him. The seriousness of this, if you will, is the idea of, oh my goodness, they're a day's journey out. They have walked all day long from early that morning until almost sundown, if you will, and realize the idea, the Lord's nowhere to be found. They realize this is serious. Now I got a question to ask you. Listen to me. Why is it serious? Is it because it's your son? Or is it serious because it's the son? Or is it both? What struck their mind? The idea that in other words, their salvation, because that's what he is. He is the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Yeah. And no man will ever come to the Father but by him. Amen. Not at all. Not going to. This is the seriousness in this investigation. Then the delay, if you will, in losing the Lord. And I, I'm just going to hit this and I'm going to. 
I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish this off Wednesday night. The delay went like this. Listen to me very carefully. The period of the delay says, but they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. That's a day's journey out. Then the Bible says, this is the period. I want to put it all together. Then it says, and it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple. So if, well, listen, to, watch this now. If you're a day out, what does it take you to go back? Day. It takes you a day to go back. That's two days. Then it says, it says, and after three days they found him in the temple. Well, two and three, the last time I, uh, I'm not sure about this new math that they have. But two and three makes five. Is uh, uh, this core this core curriculum? I'm not sure if it's still that way, uh, and what have you, the new math, and what have. But I think it's still five, isn't it? At least it is. In other words, it, <laughs> the last time it is I ever looked at a math book. That's five days, folks. Can I talk to you all just for a minute? I understand the out. No, I don't understand it actually. I understand the idea about out. And I understand the back. You know what I'm having a problem with? The three days. Now I'm kiddingly, and I shouldn't say kiddingly, but I've, I've, I've made the statement of the idea, why did it take three days to find the Lord Jesus Christ? Looking in the wrong place. That's right. That people, and by the way, people are still looking in the wrong place for the Lord. <laughs> After they have figured out that they've lost the Lord, they're still trying, and by the way, you want to know the reason why I think that is? They don't want to go back to the idea where it is that they found him not necessarily. They're trying to figure out if it is they can have the Lord on their own terms. If they can have the Lord, if you will, where they want him at. That's where they just as soon look for him as they would any place else. There's some people trying to find the Lord, in other words, in nature. They get out, in other words, in the idea about nature. And they look out there and they see these grand grand pictures that the Lord has painted, if you will, in nature and go, ooh, ah, ah. But the Lord's not in that. Right. He did that. He ain't in that. Then the idea numbers, they'll go to the ocean. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, look at that. Hey, guess what? The Lord ain't there either. Come on. Yeah. They'll say, well, maybe I can find you the words in my family. If I'm not mistaken, they had the family all the time here. Yeah. Didn't they? Mm -hmm. Because they made the statement. I don't want to go back there. It says that they, well, they found the kinsman. But that's where some people are trying to find God at. In other words, it's in their family. The Lord is not in your family. The Lord, the Lord, my friend, needs to be in you. And then you're the one who needs to help them, my friend, find, in other words, the rest of the family. Then that could be one rich situation, no, no getting around that. Three days it took them to find him. Find him. Three days. Why? Why? What, what in the world numbers were they looking for? Where were they looking for him at? Now I don't know, and I'm not even going to hazard a guess. I may Wednesday night just simply to add to this situation. But folks, there are people trying to find the Lord in all the wrong places. They're trying to have it on their own terms. They're trying to have it on their own time. They're trying to have it, my friend, on, the, on their own territory. And you nail this thing down. You're not the one it is, in other words, that does that. You, the first time it is you found him was not on your own terms. Come on. Wasn't on your own timing. Wasn't on your own territory. Was it? So why all of a sudden is it now? Because this is exactly, in other words, my friend, something that, in other words, that ends up happening. Something ends up happening sometimes. So let me go just a little bit further. I'm just about through. How about the pain in this delay? This is where I'm going to end it up at right here. And uh, if we ever needed you, we need you now. Get whoever has to do that thing, just get them ready. He said, thy father and I have sought thee. See that word sorrowing? That word sorrowing, in other words, takes on a whole new meaning whenever you find out what the word is actually interpreted someplace else. Or not interpreted, or the idea used. You guys ready for it? Uh, you guys ready for it? 
Here it is. In the, in the book of Luke chapter 16, there's, a, uh, there's a, a, a story about, a story, if you will, about the words of the rich man and, and Lazarus. The Bible talks about the rich man dies. It says, and in hell he lifteth up his eyes, being in torments. And seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom, he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am. See that word tormented? It is exactly the same word that's translated sorrowing over in Luke chapter 2. In that one right there. It's actually used again in verse number 25. It's a torment. Can I talk to y'all just for a minute? Just to end this thing up for tonight. Whenever you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you're being tormented. Most people don't even have a clue that that's what the problem is. My friend, when somebody has lost the Lord, and all of a sudden they realize it. What I think is interesting, in other words, they're tormented. In the same kind of torments it would be the idea of using hell. Mm -hmm. Just without the flames. Good. That means, in other words, the idea of a little bit of a, of a hell right here on earth. No comparison to the real thing. Please don't misunderstand me. Whenever, my friend, you don't have the Lord in your life, after it is other use, you have had him in your life. And by the way, I think that's where other people are tormented either. Those that have never been saved either. They're tormented. They're so stinking miserable they can't see straight. Mm -hmm. That's why they got to go through all the junk it is they got to go through. Yeah. That's why they have to have a mind-numbing drugs and, and drink and, and just, just all kinds of junk like that. In other words, just to keep them just going. i got a question to ask you. How long are you going to be tormented? How long are you going to be sorrowing on the idea that, in other words, you don't know if the Lord is in your life or not? You don't have a clue. You just don't know. Let's bow our heads.